Hi, this is Sarah Abrams from Rave Publications, and I'm here at the end of day three of ISC 2018 in Amsterdam, and I'm here with Jeff Singer in the Crustron booth. Uh, he's Executive Director of Product Marketing at Crustron. How are you today, Jeff? I'm doing great, Sarah. Great. Your booth is super packed. It is so busy. We can barely, you know, move around here too much. So uh, it seems like you've been pretty successful here. Yeah, we've had a great show, and um, it's actually the biggest booth we've ever done. Wow. Uh, we expanded beyond our normal footprint, and uh, residential has its own uh, his own area out back. That's a, that's impressive because you guys are almost always the biggest booth at every show <laughs> that you go to. So uh, Jeff's going to give us a quick overview of what they're doing here at the show, and then also we're going to do a quick booth tour, hopefully yeah. quick. So um, well, we'll what go is as fast as we can? It yeah. is big. <laughs> So tell me a bit about your messaging here. Well, really what we're focused on is um, modern workplace technology. We've uh, talked with a lot of our enterprise clients from different vertical markets like corporate, higher ed, government, and really at the end of the day it came down to five challenges that they all seem to face that traditional AV and IT have not been able to solve. Um, and and um, they, what those are is uh, how do they provide a consistent user experience across all different types of spaces, you know, across all their entire enterprise. Uh, with so many more people, devices, and spaces uh, connected to the network, yeah. how do they deploy that? How do they manage and monitor that? And quite honestly, then the third thing is how do you secure that? Right, you will need to provide greater access, but greater security at the same time. Convergence is here. What do we do it, now? It, yeah, it already happened. Yeah, it's like congratulations. Now what? <laughs> um, and then, and then, finally, you know, two more things were uh, infrastructure. How do we? Can we use the existing infrastructure that's already in the in the in the building? And then finally, how do we find and locate and and book? all these spaces, a lot of these spaces aren't even rooms. They're not named, they're not numbered, they're kind of off the grid. But, so how do we book them, and how do we find them, and how do we manage them? So with those five things in mind, we've set to work and uh, created really a brand new platform. It's taken us a while um, to get there, but um, this year we really feel like it's all really finally coming together. Okay, well let's take a look. Well, the first thing we're standing here um, is in, uh, we're actually selling rooms rather than a product. Like solutions, rooms. Exactly. So um, rooms or, um, or workspaces now are activity based in their design. In other words, based on what people want to do, there is a room for them. So this is actually um, an open space. We also have small to medium sized meeting rooms and then larger presentation conference rooms. And we'll build on those, but basically they're all built on the same platform. There's one SKU and everything that you need to deploy one that room. Even. Yeah, it's one SKU, one price, everything's in the box, whatever you need for that room. So there's like a SKU for a huddle room? Correct. <laughs> that is right. And, uh, and then of course there are options that you can add on. And it's all built on the same platform. You get this, again, going back to those five things. Every one of our products is leveraging or supporting uh, standard network security protocols. Um, they're all, they all have the same UI or user experience. So as you go from room to room, uh, space to space, it all kind of looks and operates the same way. Um, everything's tied um, on the back end to our XIO cloud, which we'll talk more about. So you can deploy it, monitor, manage, control it uh, from the cloud. Um, and again, it's all using the existing infrastructure, it's just Ethernet. So you plug devices in, everything, all the settings and configurations are uploaded uh, from the cloud, you don't have to do anything. Okay. So here's our uh, open, uh, the open space. Uh, it's based on our freeform uh, unit. It's just one box that goes behind the display. You don't even need any furniture. And you plug it in and away you go. Um, I know we gotta run, so let's go check out some of the other spaces. Okay. So over here we have the small to medium size uh, meeting rooms. So in the open space, that's uh, you know you might just want to meet with a few people and present wired or wirelessly. Here in the meeting space, here you might be able to make a well you can make um, audio calls, uh, web collaboration or video conference calls, and as well as be able to present wired and wirelessly. You can schedule and book these rooms, and again everything is monitored, managed, and controlled on the back end from XIO Cloud, and you can see the user experience on the display is the same as uh, the one in the open uh, conference room. You'll see the touch screen on the, um, on the Mercury unit on the table is the same as the conference room, which is next. Uh, 
So over here is the conference room. So the open space is really just one source to one display. You're not even in a room. The next one is one source to one display. You're making calls, pre presentations, and conferencing. Um, like I said, one source, one display. Here you have multiple sources, up to two displays. And we're supporting any codec uh, that you want. So uh, this room, um, not only uh, comes with our DMPS 3 4K 350C, it's our digital media all-in-one presentation system that actually now has Air Media 2.0 wireless presentation technology built in. It also ships with a 10-inch touchscreen. And on the touchscreen, it ships with a program already preloaded. So when you go into the room, plug it into the Ethernet, and uh, you can choose which codec you want to uh, want to integrate with whatever you're using in the room, whether it's Polycom or Cisco or whatever, and it just works. So all that programming and configuration time, you don't need to do that anymore. So one SKU, you just specify based on how many people, but still lots of flexibility for all the different stuff you want to use. Yep. Open space, meeting room, conference room. Depends on what you want to do. Okay, sounds good. All right. Then, <clears throat> over here, this whole area here are all of our, this is our audio uh, platform. So everybody thinks about us, um, either as like a control company, control systems and touch screens, or maybe you think about us for video, right, Crush on Digital Media. Um, but we are really uh, a state-of-the-art, world-class audio company as well. So we've got great audio tools, DSPs, modular and multi-channel amplifiers. We have um, our new vector, high performance loudspeakers, Saros architectural speakers, so it's a full audio line. Um, and then uh, our DSPs now uh, are also uh, compatible with our XIO cloud, so it's the first DSP ever that can be completely configured and uh, managed from the cloud. Um, and one of the cool new features with that is this automatic uh, acoustic room uh, testing. Wow. So what we really do is really yeah, everything. Yeah, over overnight. Basically what most clients will do is schedule it overnight when nobody's there. Um, it will automatically do an acoustic room test. So when people show up the next day, the room is fully optimized and properly tuned and ready to go when everybody shows up in the morning. Great. Now the, this is our new Crestron Airboard. So the, the uh, whiteboard is the last analog device in the room. And so th we have now fixed that problem. So there's two problems really associated with, um, with the whiteboard in the room. Uh, first, there's competition at the front of the room, wall space, and the, you know, for wall space at the front of the room. The display or the projector screen always wins. So the whiteboard always gets pushed to the side. Now, depending on the room type and the, and the design of the room, uh, you may not be able to see the whiteboard uh, very well. So all you have to do is choose Airboard as a source, and then when you write on the whiteboard, it shows up on the room d display. So it's separate from the display, but tied into it. Right. So if, if we think about, um, we're all familiar with uh, sound reinforcement. This is visual reinforcement. So I might not be able to see the whiteboard. An analog source in a digital room. Exactly. So the other thing is when you're doing a video conference or a web conference, um, the people at the near end, uh, quite often, somebody gets up uh, in, the, in the room and starts writing on the whiteboard, and everybody in the room can see what's going on, but the people at the far end that you've called can't. Now they can. So at whatever they're writing on the whiteboard at one end, the people, uh, the remote participants or people on the far end can also see it on their laptop or the room display. And Airboard's brand new? Brand new at the show. At the end of the conference, you hit save. You hit um, um, end and save, and whatever you wrote on the whiteboard will be saved to a PDF and emailed to all the participants in the meeting. So this is XIO Cloud. We talked about this a bunch of times. So as you probably know, we've been a gold partner with Microsoft for many years. Um, so what we did was we took their Azure cloud platform. We used that as the foundation on which to build our cloud platform. And we, um, we, we re-engineered that or, or we built that for AV technology. So what you can do from XIO Cloud, we say you can deploy, 
manage, monitor, and evolve. So some of the cool things we can do, and oh, and it's the only touchless uh, cloud platform in the industry. What do you mean by that, touchless? I'm going to tell you, you don't have to do a thing. and that's, that's the whole point. So um, every other cloud platform has um, out, outbound connections. We have inbound connections, just like an IT uh, cloud. So you can, from the cloud, create all your um, settings and configurations for all your rooms and all your devices. Then when the hardware shows up, you just connect it to the network via ethernet and automatically all your settings get uploaded to the device. You don't have to do anything. There's no, there's no manual manipulation. You don't have to ping it or pull it or send it. It'll just automatically happen. Just like a consumer electronic device. Uh, similar, like think about, um, yeah, like almost like your like iPhone. Like your phone or your... Yeah, exactly. Which gets to, and I'll skip ahead to the, um, that's to the, the management. So anytime that you want to do any kind of um, upgrades or updates, if there are features that get added, because we're constantly adding new features, right, it'll automatically get, um, up, get sent or uploaded to all the devices from the cloud. And again, just like your phone, do you want to update now or later, because we don't want to interrupt a meeting, um, all you got to do is yes, and again, it just gets automatically uploaded. Um, you can also monitor. So um, in the IT world, they'll call them events, AV, we call them alerts. But you can monitor the performance of all the devices. If anything goes wrong, you get an alert. You can respond to it remotely from the cloud. And then finally, and the one that people have most questions about, is Evolve. What do we mean by that? Uh, what it means is, again, just like IT devices, um, do, you have a, do you happen to have like an IP phone on your desk? I mean, a lot. Yes. Yeah. Right, like a, maybe you have a Mitel or a Cisco or whatever, right? Now, if you've ever changed desks and you just take the phone with you, you unplug it, you take the phone with you, and you plug it in at your new desk, and all of your, con your, your extension, your name, all of your... Saved locally on the device. Saved, right? In AV, that doesn't happen. When you move something, because every room is a little bit different, you have- It doesn't know where it is. It doesn't know where it is. It doesn't work in that room because it's configured or programmed differently. You have to send a programmer out and reconfigure or reprogram it. Not anymore. Basically, you can, you can move devices around. You can even swap out devices. How many times has somebody swapped out a projector or a display, and now because it's a different maker model, the protocols are different- they Broke the, the input, entire system. They broke the whole, in, exactly. Not anymore. Basically, with XIO Cloud, you can swap out those devices, connect it to the network, all the settings and configurations get uploaded, and the room just keeps working. Okay. Pretty cool. Yeah. Um, what's that? Over here, we have our new room scheduling platform. We've been building this over time. So no matter where you are, um, you can find and book the right room for you. So we have an app that uh, is on your phone and it, speak, and it, and it uh, interacts with proximity beacons throughout your, your office. Um, you've seen this display on, um, or this welcome screen on displays in all those packaged rooms. Um, basically, a bunch of our uh, products, all those products that you saw have a graphics engine. When it's tied to the back end on, to our room scheduling system, you can see it will tell you um, if the room is booked, the name of the person who booked it, the, the name of the meeting, how long it's booked. Um, if it's available, it'll tell you how long it's available. Um, we also have hallway signs and we have uh, the touchscreen um, panels that are outside the wall. And ours is the only one that's completely open. So all you have to do is connect our touchscreens to the network. It will talk directly to whatever room calendaring or, um, or calendaring platform you have, whether it's Exchange, 365, or G Suite on the back end. And on the front end, you could use our room booking software or, I don't know if you can see it, but we're running Robin Any of those Howard, third AppSpace, Team, uh, and uh, EMS natively on our touchscreens. So again, there's no programming or configuration needed. It just, if that's what you're using, it'll talk to it and run it natively. Um, over here is AirMedia 2.0. Um, so you heard me when we were talking about the uh, package room solutions that AirMedia 2.0 was built into the Freeform, it was built into the Mercury, it was built into the DMPS. Um, so now for wireless presentation, you don't need a separate piece of hardware anymore. 
Um, so previously you'd have to buy a separate gateway. Um, now you don't. It's just a feature built into um, everything. Into everything, um, and uh, it can be a license which can be managed by XIO Cloud. Um, and now we uh, we've improved the technology. So now we have the lowest latency of any wireless technology out there. We have the lowest bandwidth of any wireless out there. Um, we get real, so it gives us really smooth video playback. Um, and we also have network security, uh, just like all of our other devices. So it, it supports all the standard network security protocols. Um, and we have full uh, mirroring, even iOS without Bonjour. So. So the multi-award winning Crestron Mercury. It's very popular. It is very popular. Uh, there's really nothing else on the market like it. Um, there's a whole UC pavilion here with dozens, maybe hundreds of UC providers that are all um, battling with each other. And um, it's a tough choice, but with Crestron Mercury, you don't have to choose because Crestron Mercury works with every and any uh, web collaboration uh, service out there. It also works with, it's an open SIP conference phone, so whatever, um, whatever SIP phone or SIP server you're using, it works with that as well, and really allows you to do anything that you would want to do in a room, from uh, conference calling, to wired and wireless presentation, to web collaboration, video conferencing. You just plug it in via Ethernet and it works. Everything you need is built in, the microphones, the speaker, occupancy sensor, touch screen, everything. It's really quite miraculous and, and marvelous. That's why it wins so many awards. Um, Let's see, let's, we'll zip through here. We have obviously lots more uh, new DM products to talk about, but the real highlight is DMNVX. Mm -hmm. So everybody's talking about um, AV over IP or putting video on the network, and we really have a very unique um, solution. Um, so you'll have to come down and, and check it out for yourself or, or go to uh, crestron.com slash NVX. Um, but we are able to get the same video quality as the 10 gig solutions on a one gig, um, on a one gig uh, network, um, which means it's, it's, ours is more scalable, it's uh, a lot less expensive. Um, we offer network security and management tools, um, like uh, nobody else does that. Um, and again, it's using the standard one gigabit ethernet that's already in the wall. And what we're showing here, we've got tests for quality, and we're going side by side with other one gigabit um, ethernet solutions like SVSI, as well as proving that you don't need 10 gigabit uh, to get the best quality. So we show a side by side comparison with ZV, which is one of the SDVOE um, lines. We're showing uh, no latency. We've done videos, and people don't really believe that you can get uh, zero latency on a network AV system. Um, but here, we're able to show, show it live and prove it. Um, so, because we have patent-pended technology that enables you to scale and decode at the same time, so you don't get any additional latency, and we're showing that here. And we're also the only one that um, has uh, what we call for, what's called forward error protection, which basically protects the network video signal from environmental noise, which you get from really any electric uh, device, appliance, or system like lighting systems, elevators, escalators, uh, vending machines, anything like that. So basically anything that emits electricity, uh, you can see on the ZV, SDVOE um, product, um, I could show you, but maybe we can get some B-roll later. Um, it breaks up the signal. There's a whole other video on yeah. it, so. Oh, great. So you see that there. Um, ours maintains the signal integrity there. It gets you know choppy or glitchy or sometimes even drops the signal. And then finally uh, is our residential area. Uh, so we step out of commercial and we, we leave work and we go home. So uh, this is our residential area. And uh, some of the highlights here, we have completely redesigned our handheld remotes. These are really, really slick. Um, people have been um, really amazed and impressed at the at the design and just how they feel uh, holding them in your hand and just and uh, how natural and light and ergonomic they are. Uh, we have brand new for uh, for this market is um, our shades and our shears, and we also now have um, 
video using the ping system. So incorporating distributed video throughout the house is much, much easier than it's ever been. You don't have to be a programmer um, or a system uh, designer to be able to do it. That was a long uh, yeah. Five Are you out of breath now? <laughs> that was long. Yeah, now I need a nap. <laughs> well, uh, thanks so much, Jeff. I really appreciate the overview Thank today you, at the Crush Run booth. Pleasure. Yes. Um, so we have individual, much shorter videos. If you want to check out um, any of the individual products, so type into the search box Crestron and check everything out. And if you're still at ISE 2018, make sure you come by tomorrow and see all these things in person for yourself.